My name is Larry Green and this is the CTED 4213 Safety Organization and Management of Learning Facilities, product 5.21. What we have here in my room where I teach photography, we don't have a lot of dangerous equipment, but what we do have is a lot of tripping hazards and chemistries. But then we also have our safety um, drills and things like this. If you come over here, I'll show you where we keep these located. This is our public school safety procedures for fire drills. We know where to go, what our location is, our meeting point, and what we do when we get there. This is also our schematic of the school showing our safe area in case of inclement weather, tornadoes, anything like that. We have interior safe rooms that we go to depending on the location of your room. We also have an uh, intruder on campus lockdown procedure. Let's just say if there's someone that has purchased or brought a gun to school, uh, they set off the alarm, we lock our doors, we cover our windows, I take my students to the rear of the class away from view of the glass in the window. That is just to protect them and to, and to keep the intruder out of this room. So that is the procedure on the lockdown. And uh, we, of course, have our exit sign. This is the main exit coming and going in and out of this room. Now, I'd like to take you over to the MSDS sheets. We do have chemistries in here. This is the MSDS safety sheet location. So if there's any issues at all or someone needs to find out uh, where some of these uh, are located, this is the location for the MSDS sheets. Again, for tripping hazards, I'm just going to come over here to the other side of the room. One, uh, one issue in this room for safety also is the paper cutting table. As you can see, kids could come in here and play with this and you can see how dangerous it can be. I don't allow any pl anyone playing with it. I supervise them when they do cut paper as to not lose fingers for these students. I try to keep, this is the, the small studio, when we have students over here, I make sure that they're aware of tripping hazards such as this, even the light stands, you can trip on the edge of the light stands, knock the light down, break a bulb, get a piece of glass in your face, or just trip and fall and harm yourself. So I have a tripping hazard on anything that may be a tripping hazard, the lights especially. Also over here for the background, we have another tripping hazard sign on the background sign because you can see as you walk through here, you can trip on this, fall, and hurt yourself. This is a line of computers that we have here. We try to keep the cords up, tucked nice and neat so that they can't trip on those when they're dragging their chairs in and out or drag a chair with a cord on it, pulling a computer out on them. So we try to keep that as safe as possible. If you'll follow me into the dark room, I'll show you the dark room and our procedures in here. This is my dark room area. This is the location of the aprons and the goggles. I require all students to wear goggles when developing chemistry and working in the sink and I also have a notice sign over here to wear splash goggles, face shield, rubber gloves, apron. The apron is to keep the chemistry off their clothes because it does stain out of their eyes. That's why I need them to wear the goggles and the gloves to keep any uh, students who may have an allergic reaction to the chemistries that we have in here. This is my line of enlargers. We try to keep it neat, free of debris so that no student will injure themselves by pulling anything off on them. We also have a sink with chemistries in it. So when the students do come here, they know that they must have their goggles on. We're going to be working in the chemistries. I don't want them to accidentally splash any of this in their eyes. If we do have a little water spill or something on the floor, we have a mop that's ready to be cleaned up and then I'm to be notified immediately on that and we have two exit signs. This exit goes through this door and into the main room and this is our dark room door exit letting you know that this is a safe exit from this room also. So this is Larry Green. Thank you very much.